Hello Capricorn, um, welcome back if you're a returning subscriber, nice to have you back. If you're new to the channel, thank you for joining me. Um, this is a general reading. I've already shuffled and laid out the cards. I've changed the format that I've uh, been using um, to match better my um, time and constraints and while I'm moving around. So, um, yeah, so what I've done is I've chosen um, out of the ones I've shuffled, I've got three um, areas of interest, three houses of interest uh, for for the month that's unfolding for you, and then the astrological influences, and then the goddess guidance, um, her house. So for the first house of influence for you, you have seventh house, which is the house of relationships. So this is uh, normally close personal one-on-one -on -one relationships, um, and that is... Um, a committed partnerships normally. So this can be a love partnership, but it can also be a business partnership as well. Or another relationship which you, which you are, you know, very close to. Uh, it's personal one on one. Um, so, um, so all of that is going to be in a, a, one of the focuses for this month. Um, underneath you have Gemini, I think. This card actually represents the lover's card in, um, this deck. Um, so you have a double, you have a double situation here where you've got the seventh house, which is all about, um, you know, loving partners, but also business partners. And then you've got the lover's card. Um, but um, so take that as it um, you know may resonate for you. Um, it could be the incoming of an important soulmate for you, uh, somebody that is uh, significant. Um, and it's going to be important in your life. Uh, so as I say, this could be a, a love partnership, but it's the start of a very committed, uh, significant relationship. But it can also be, as I said, about a business partnership as well. But I feel that it could, uh, you know, judging by the look of the cards, that this is actually an important relationship. So it can also be that you may be um, uh, in two minds about something in your relationship, your close personal one-on-one -on -one relationship. So something is requiring thought. You need to be quick, quick thinking about it. You need to take advantage of what is happening. Um, you know, be quick, quick thinking. Um, but it could also be that you are in two minds about this and you have a decision to make. Um, it can also be that you need to better bring a bit more fun and change of routine um, and just lighten things up um, in your relationships. Um, just, just bring in more fun, more curiosity, um, more stimulation, um, you know, just, just, just more fun and, and, and less, um, less routine and less, uh, the same old. You know, you need to change things up. You need to make things, uh, bigger and brighter or just better by choosing differently. Um, so it's lightening up, um, stimulating, um, and exchange of ideas, um, or it could be that this person represents that for you. They could be a very stimulating person. Um, it's going to push you to be more flexible, to multitask, to be more curious, to be more adaptable, um, which, you know, um, you're quite capable of doing, although you do tend to be more uh, structured in your outlook on life, uh, being a Capricorn. So Gemini is going to come in to shake that up for you. So it could be that as well. Um, but I think, I feel it's a significant relationship that is coming in for you. All the foundations are being laid for that now, but you need to create more stimulation, um, in the partnership. Um, and the goddess guidance for this is, um, Sulis, bodies of water. So spend time near water, such as a lake, river, or the ocean to recharge your batteries. So it could be that you've been through a tumultuous period or you are making a decision about this relationship. Um, and in order to overcome any difficulties or any um, changes of direction or any shifts uh, that may have been very draining on you, um, it's good to go and spend time near water. So this could be a beach holiday or a lake holiday um, just somewhere where there's, you're close to a body of water to just rest, relax and to wash away, um, wash away any sadness or any heaviness or any negativity or any, um, sort of difficult period that you've been in and you're just feeling very tired. 
Um, so it's a good it's a good opportunity to go and um, spend time, especially in the sea, uh, because the sea, you know, the salt in there is is a wonderful detoxification, um, and you just need to have a have a, a purification of some kind. And going into a, a, a water body is one of the best ways to do that. It's one of the most natural and normal ways to actually just you know and easily accessible for many people. Even if it's a sea salt bath, it doesn't have to be a holiday to a uh, you know a water destination, but nonetheless, sea salt baths um self-care rest relaxation and time just to to spend time you know in um in a in happy and uh, flowing environment and that could be for you and your partner or it could be for you um in preparation for this partnership uh, coming in just to cleanse and detox and to purify your energy so that you go into the relationship or into the partnership with a clearer focus and a clearer, you know, your energies are clear. So um, then following on from that, um, another area of interest for you will be the 12th house. Um, this is the house of escape. Um, but it's also the house of the unconscious, which is basically what rules the vast majority of our lives. What goes on under the surface behind behind the scenes, your hidden drives, your motivations, your even your obsessions or your, your deep thoughts, um, everything is controlled by the unconscious. Um, the 12th house is also about rest um, uh, through meditation, uh, mysticism, healing, finding all forms of healing uh, or in, in being involved in various types of healing, even as a profession. Um, it's also about uh, retreats, meditation, um, withdrawal, seclusion, anything like that uh, comes into the 12th house. It's also the house of uh, escapism of all kinds. So this can be literally an escape, a holiday, a breakaway, um, just time off from work, just an escape to get away, to recalibrate, to sort yourself out if you've been through a difficult patch or you're just feeling a little bit tired. Um, but too much escapism then leads to an addiction of some kind. So just be aware of that. Um, it could also be that um, you're facing some sort of resolution or you're healing and ending certain things. Um, it could also be that you are, um, you know, wanting to spend more time in service work to others. It can come up as well. Um, this house is the house of karmic lessons. Uh, and it's also, it's also where you go. You know, it's also your experiences in any kind of institution, whether this is um, a hospital or a university or a library. Um, uh, any kind of institution um, where, you know, and it's your experiences, whatever happens to you while you're there. So 12th house being the focus, the astrological focus here is Saturn truth. So I feel this is mostly to do with um, perhaps you are uh, visiting an institution of some kind, but this is also about uh, the deeper self. And Saturn truth is about facing certain truths, facing certain things. Um, it's about laying foundations for life um and um it won't be easy to le le you know to to work your way to to actually build those foundations up but once you build a solid one then you lay the foundations for success uh and that's almost guaranteed but you've got to take the time and put in a lot of toil and effort to lay a really solid foundation and you have to face certain things um you have to address certain things in yourself um and in the unfolding of your life in order to bring about those strong foundations. So it could be very well you visiting institutions for certain things. It could be health-based. It could be even relationship-based. Um, but it can also just be uh, that you are, um, you know, needing to, to actually spend time, which is what Saturn is about, spend time looking at what has worked for you, what is working, what isn't working, um, facing a few realities, um, trimming, um, you know, sort of streamlining things, cutting out unnecessary things, tackling things that perhaps you just haven't had the energy or the courage to deal with. Um, and um, it's going to take time, patience, and quite a lot of effort, substantial effort, maybe even sacrifice on your part um, to, to, to lay this solid foundation so that you can move forward. Um, but it is ultimately about facing truths as well and seeing how you can improve on, on things. And um, you may just also feel a little bit unappreciated. Maybe you're feeling you know, you're not appreciating yourself enough as well. That's another um, another brick in the foundation of life. So just see how that plays out for you. The Goddess Guidance 
um, which is very, very much a 12th house thing, is uh, Sikh, which is uh, quiet time. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. So this is all 12th house energies coming in. It's all about that. So I do feel that overall your energies are maybe a little bit low. And uh, you're needing to actually spend time in contemplation, quiet time, uh, take time out to do some deep um, analysis of yourself, where you are, what you want. Uh, perhaps you are going through some sort of, uh, you're launching into a new relationship or you're changing something in that. Perhaps the foundations of that are changing and it's going to spill over into your physical body as well, which is the, the last area of influence. That is the first house. So your physical body, your vitality, your um, life force, all of these things are going to come in uh, with with everything that has gone on. So it could be that you're being in, you're coming to the end of a big cycle that you've been in, and you're ready. You get you kind of getting ready to tackle the tackle the next one, and it's saying that you need to actually spend time on your own um, in peace. Uh, and it could be very well that you need to go on a yoga retreat or a, some kind of withdrawal or some kind of healing. Um, healing um, modality or therapy um, or, or just some kind of time away uh, or a sort of seclusion, just something where you are going to recharge your batteries um, and um, just take some time out to reformulate what it is that you you know you want to do. Um, but the quiet time, the rest and the contemplation is going to be very important and that is a 12th house, very much a 12th house thing and um, Saturn is going to bring you to that point where you have to examine what it is you want, take responsibility for your goals and what you want out of life. Then we've got um, the first house, as I said, which is the house of the physical body. It's also the house of, of your, um, you know, what you project to others, what other people see when they t interact with you. Um, and um, it's everything to do with the self, your self-oriented interests as well. Um, and um, your characteristics and your personality, but it's mostly about your physical body and yourself, um, who you are, what you're showing to the world, uh, and how you're making your way into the world, your independence, and how you are how you are charting your course. So this is first house, and the astrological guidance is Libra, I balance. So this is very much a relationship card as as well. So we keep getting the relationship influence coming in here. Um, this is very much a relationship card. It's also about romance. It's about love. It's about charm. It's about beauty. It's about refinement. All of those things come in with the Libra card. Um, but I feel it is also about balance. So you need to balance your needs with another. Um, and, to, and uh, you know, it's about mutual support and merging. Yes, that's important. But it is also about balance. Um, if you are not um, currently facing, um, you know, uh, sort of love relationship type issues and this could be a business partnership or just some other close personal relationship it's about balancing um, your own physical self your own vitality in this uh, relationship or in your life currently so just about balance in general so um, you need to apply that um, in order to get the most out of your your physical body which uh, you know which is going to ultimately carry you through life so it's about balance, what you're eating, uh, be careful with that. It's the nurturing, the self-love and all of those things, as well as love for another. When you give you know, love to yourself, then you can give um, to another. When your cup is full, then you can share. Um, also, we've got goddess guidance. We've got Vesta, home. Um, your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. So it could be that whatever has gone down um, in your life, um, it's quite a drain on you emotionally and physically. Uh, or it could be that you're at, you've closed out a cycle and you're now starting another and it's time to, um, to just take a, a break and recharge. Um, and uh, with this card, as I said, it could very well that be that you've relocated or you are changing something in your home life and that is affecting your physical body. Um, it could be enhancing your life force. And it could be somebody, a new person, a relationship coming into your life, which is going to stir things up. And I do feel that is the case, especially with the Gemini card under your partnership house. Um, this person is, is probably very stimulating and um, and it's going to shift a lot of things for you. It's going to be important, significant relationship um, coming in for you. 
Then at the bottom of the deck uh, for the astrological influence, we have Saturn return age, another Saturn card. Saturn is the ruler of Capricorn, so you're very well acquainted with that. Saturn return age, um, this is about hindsight. This is about wisdom through knowledge of the past. So you can look back at the past, but you mustn't live there. You take what you need from it and you move on. Um, it's very much a course correction card, this. Uh, what are you releasing and redirecting in your life? What are you changing uh, to meet your needs now? So this is kind of a reflective card. I should have done, could have done, was meant to do, all of those things. What What is it that, um, you know, you're looking back and thinking, well, maybe I should have done this, or you're now seeing the results of something that you didn't take responsibility for further back, or you are just looking back with hindsight and, and course correcting at this time. So it's also to do with age, um, the physical body itself. So um, this is um, all the hard things in the body, the teeth, um, the bones, your skeletal structure, the tendons, the ligaments, all of those things, um, maybe needing a bit of a, 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 some care and attention, particularly teeth um, and bones. Um, you may need to be going to the through the 12th house healing, um, you know, visiting very various healing modalities in order to assist you through that or just getting your teeth seen to. You know, all these things come up with Saturn return age. And you had Saturn earlier on as well. So watch your calcium levels, your magnesium levels, your vitamin D levels, and so on. Get good quality care in that to support your body uh, as you move forward now, because that is clearly an issue uh, for you. Um, it's also, as I said, very much about a redirection card. So this is about gaining freedom and um knowledge about what you want to do with your life now. So reassessing your goals, and there's freedom in that. Because as soon as you do that, as soon as you allow yourself to now change direction or to course correct, then um, then suddenly doors start to open for you. Um, and then the bottom of the deck for God's guidance is Una. Easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. So this is about not worrying too much about outcomes, your life purpose, all these big plans and dreams and things that you want to put into place now. Um, you need time to rest, you need time to reformulate, you need time to just uh, let things uh, flow by themselves, let the universe assist you, um, and um, just just go about things in a, in a, in a you know, easy does it type of fashion, uh, because everything is working out, and that you're, you know, you, you can't um, be, you know, interfering too much in this process, just let things go for now and not be not be too overly concerned about outcomes at this time because um, you have you know you have the guidance and you have the 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 backing uh, and things are unfolding as they should be